video so today I've got a question and answers video for you and I actually posted a picture on my Instagram and my Twitter I think and my blog a few weeks ago asking um, you to leave your questions down below and I will answer them in this video so I had um, a few questions so I'll start answering them and I apologize if I get anyone's name wrong I'll try and get everyone's name correctly but I'll at you um, by here somewhere so um, everyone can go and check out your page so yeah so the first question is off Hannah and it was what is your favourite drugstore brand and what's your holy grail drugstore lipstick and mascara so favourite drugstore brand would have to be I'm going to class this as drugstore because um, it's that price range but it's actually Beauty OK um, yeah it is drugstore they sell it in um, Superdrug so they sell it in Superdrug and Select I would have said before Rimmel but now it's Beauty UK because I just absolutely love them and I just think all their products are so affordable, so such good quality and the pigmentation of like their lipsticks and stuff, I just love them. Um, but it would have been Rimmel had I not found Beauty UK, but I did, so it's Beauty UK. And um, what's your Holy Grail drugstore lipstick and mascara? My Holy Grail drugstore lipstick would have to be the one I'm wearing now, um, which may look a bit weird because it's a bit of a mix between two, but it's the uh, Rimmel um lasting finished lipstick in the shade uh, 006 pink blush and there's literally like this much left of this one there's really not much left at all i've gone through about five of these like i've bought loads like, every year i buy another one i absolutely love them and i've actually got my best friend onto these now as well and we're both obsessed so i love this lipstick and it's quite affordable as well and they're just a really nice texture so that's really nice it's perfect everyday shade as well so love that um, my Holy Grail drugstore mascara would be the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, which now has like no branding on my packaging because it's completely rubbed off. But that would be, and it, that's in 00 black, 001 black, <laughs> and that would be my favourite because it is just so, it really does accelerate your lashes, and the brush is really nice as well. It's quite thin and small because I hate the ones that are too big and then they just go everywhere. So that would be my Holy Grail drugstore mascara. So the next question is off Katie and she asked, have you any beauty tips and tricks which are a little unusual? Um, and what's your favourite joke? So first question, tips and tricks are a little unusual. I was thinking about this and I don't think I do have ones that are unusual except um, the way I do my eyeliner when I do eyeliner, uh, pencil eyeliner now, not liquid, um, is I, this one's not even sharp, but I put the pencil in my lashes and then shut my eye and run the pencil along like just inside my eye where I think it would be with my eyes closed which is a bit unusual because you can't see what you're doing but it's the perfect way to get top and bottom lashes, uh, no top and bottom water lines eye lined and um, if you want it to, be, it to be a bit more of a smoky eye then it does actually give you quite a nice like not a messy but like just a nice smoky effect to your eyes and it's not like a perfect line on your waterline it's like quite um it's really hard to describe but that's i think that's an unusual way to literally put the pencil in your lashes close your eye and then run it along like that and then like maybe angle it up a little bit but like inside your eye and then like angle it down so you get all around and then you open your eye and it's done so and it's really quick as well if you're in a rush that's just super quick um favorite joke would be um it's not my favorite joke but it's a joke which um since I could speak, I think my mum would take me, she was a hairdresser, so she would take me to all her like customers' houses and stuff, she was a mobile hairdresser, and she'd say, oh, do your joke, and I literally was sitting about two, and it would be, um, why did the elephant sit on the tomato? And the answer would be, because he wanted to play squash, which is not even a funny joke, but I used to say it when I was like two, so it's not my favourite joke, but... It's, it's quite cute that I, I've just always said that joke since I was like born, so yeah. The next question's off Sammy, and she asked, if you could only use one foundation, mascara, blusher, and lipstick for the rest of your life, which ones would you choose? And for mascara, I would choose the Revlon Colour Stay, because I just love it. I've tried other foundations from like Maybelline, Bourjois, even the Beauty UK one, and I've just come back to it. So it's the Revlon Colour Stay in the shade uh, 150 Buff, and I always use it. It's just so long lasting and just looks really flawless on your skin and I just love it, I just think it's really nice so that would be my favourite and it's like quite an expensive drugstore um, foundation but for drugstore prices but it's really good and I do think it's really worth it so that would be my favourite, um, if I could only use one foundation that's what I would use 
and then um, if I could only use one mascara it would have to be, even though I love my lash accelerator and that's my holy grail drugstore mascara, if I could only use one mascara for the rest of my life it would have to be the YSL Shocking Mascara, this is a mini and it is fantastic, I, this is a mini version though, I've literally had it for ages and I absolutely love it so I'll be purchasing the full size of that soon because I just love it, it's really good and it's really black, stays on all day doesn't like run down my face or like anything and leave any smudging so I love that, I don't think it's the waterproof one so that's really good and I love it and then if I could only use one blush for the rest of my life this one was hard but where is it gone, here it is um, because I love my cream blushes but I use a cream blush and then I use the Beauty UK highlighter um, the box blush in Halo I think it's called as a highlight so um, I use pink, like a pinky tone here and then a highlight here, so that's two. But if I could only use one for the rest of my life, it'd have to be the Beauty UK Shimmer Box in the shade um, Rose, number two, because it has a pink shade and it has like um, rosy shades here with the highlight as well. So if I only had to use one, it would be this one and then I've got my highlight and my pinky tone, so that's really nice and really affordable as well, so I love that. And if I could only use one lipstick for the rest of my life, that would definitely be my um, Rimmel pink blush again, because it's just perfect for every day, it's perfect for every day, and I can always like rely on this lipstick. If I'm like, oh, what lipstick will go with this outfit, or what lipstick will go with this hair, or you know, eye look or something, or occasion, this lipstick goes well for everything, like it goes with everything, and you can wear it whenever, so yeah, I really like it. And it doesn't look, it's not like too underdressed, this lipstick shade isn't too underdressed for an occasion when you've got it on and it isn't too overdressed for like just nipping to the shop or the post office so yeah I really love it. The next question's off Ava and she asked what is your favourite thing about being a blogger slash youtuber and my favourite thing about being a blogger slash youtuber is um, I love talking about stuff that I'm passionate about so I love talking about all the, the makeup and stuff everything but my favourite thing and blogging about it, but my favourite thing would be, um, you know, like being in, a, in like a beauty community because the the friends that I've made uh, from having my YouTube channel and friends that I've made on my blog who like regularly comment and stuff and like we talk to on um, comments and Twitter and stuff like that, like I, that is the favourite, my favourite thing because we've all got the same thing in common, like we've all got the same thing in common, we've all, all got a passion for blogging and, um, and even the people who don't blog and who comment on my Instagram, um, I wouldn't have met them. Do you mean I wouldn't be speaking to them if it, if it wasn't for being on my blog or my YouTube? So, yes, that's my favourite thing is being in a beauty slash like fashion y type community and getting to know people and um, their favourite things. So, like their favourite like Primark hauls and their favourite makeup and stuff. Like, I just find that really interesting. So, that's probably my favourite thing. But I do love also like the photography side of it, like taking photos of all like nice products and like do my blog posts and everything and like putting effort into making that look good. So yeah, but my favourite thing would be being in the community. The next question's off Jessica and she asked, if you were to go on a road trip and forgot all your makeup and hair products, what would you do? Now, like I'm not the type of girl who is like completely like, oh, I've got to wear makeup, I can't leave the house if I haven't got my makeup on because I do regularly go to post office to post my work in just no makeup. Like I don't really want to, but if I'm in a big rush, then I will because I need to get literally I need to get stuff done and having makeup on my face isn't the worst having not having makeup on my face isn't the worst thing in life and my hair I can just chuck it up in a bun. So if I did go on a road trip and forgot everything, I would be gutted. Don't get me wrong, I would be like, oh my god, I haven't got my stuff. You know, like that would be annoying. But I would chuck my hair in a bun and or in a ponytail and because I'm more comfortable like that anyway. And then I would make a trip to, if I was on a road trip, hopefully in a European country, then I would make a trip to Sephora because I loved Sephora in Paris and think it had everything and I would buy some stuff. I wouldn't go crazy, I wouldn't spend like loads of money on stuff, I would just buy the essentials, so like foundation, mascara, bronzer, blush and like a like, nice lipstick and I think that would keep me going. If I could only buy a lipstick and not a blush, I'd buy a lipstick that I could use as blush as well, like a cream blush, so yeah, I think I'd be sensible with it, but yeah. So my last question was off McKenta and she asked on my blog, um, what is your favourite concealer and what is your favourite TV series? So my favourite concealer would have to be the um, Collection Last Imperfection Concealer, I think that's what it's called. And this is in Fair um, number one. And it would be that one because it's the best one that I found for underneath my eyes and my um, concealing spots and stuff. Um, I like the... Um, <laughs> Um, I like the Beauty UK new one, the liquid one, um, but this would be my all-time favourite. And favourite TV series would have to be 
the standards. If that's a TV series, I don't know. It's definitely a soap and it's on all the time. I love EastEnders. Like, even when it's rubbish, I don't know. I just love it. I can't miss an episode, so I love that. But if we're talking about, like, strictly TV series, not TV soaps, then my favourite TV series at the moment would be Bad Education on BBC3 because I absolutely love it. Me and Craig crack up to that programme. It is so funny. Um, Jack Whitehall is just a genius because he'd write, he writes it as well, and it's just so funny, and I love comedy like that. So bad education, and then obviously I like like the Kardashians and stuff. Uh, but it's not my they're not my favourite. Um, but it would have to be like a comedy. So it would be bad education, and EastEnders at the moment. <laughs> but EastEnders all the time. But bad education at the moment. So that's my question and answer video. I hope you liked it. I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.